Hello students, we'll continue again with unit number one and topic number five. Form work and different types of form work based on material. So basics of form work, what is the form work? Form work is the term, it is used for the process of creating a temporary mold into which concrete is poured and formed. So traditional form work is fabricated using timber but it can also be constructed from steel, glass fiber, reinforced plastics, and other materials. Formwork by name means the mold, which means it is the casing into which the casting material, usually concrete, is poured to obtain the desired structural shape. So in construction industry, formwork is similar to a mold to cast concrete member in different shapes and sizes using different types of materials such as timber, steel, aluminum, plastic, etc. Formwork should also have sufficient strength to carry dead loads and live loads as well, coming on it during casting operation and after that, till the concrete gets hard and gains some percentage of design strength. So while formwork is a broad term that is used in relation to the forming process using a wide variety of materials, Shuttering is a term that is often used to refer to the process of using plywood to form the mold. Shuttering is a synonym term used for formwork. Here you can see the picture of a formwork. So what is shuttering? So shuttering is perhaps the most popular type of formwork and is normally constructed on site by using timber and plywood. A special grade of plywood is necessary for shuttering and it must be water resistant. So it is easy to produce, although it can be time consuming for larger structures. So it is used when the labor costs are lower than the cost of producing reusable formwork from materials such as steel or plastic. So it also has the advantage of being at a significant amount of concrete can be poured at once. So simple plank shuttering can be used for the construction of a path or hard standing. So the planks should be trimmed so they are level with the top surface of the slab, allowing a tidy concrete finish to be achieved. Requirements of good form work. So it, number one, it must be capable to withstand all types of dead and life loads. Two, it is practically good to have waterproof character so that it won't absorb water from concrete. Three, entire formwork should be rigidly constructed and propped so that there should be no deformation in the shape and retain its original shape. Four, deflection and shrinkage should be minimum. Five, the joints should be tight enough to minimize the leakage of cement grout. Six, the formwork should be constructed with different segments so that while removing the formwork, it should not damage the concrete. Seven, the material of the formwork should be cheap, easily available and should be suitable for reuse. Number eight, the formwork should be set accurately to the desired line and level should have plain surface. Nine, it should be as light as possible so that it is easy to transfer and erect. And last one, number 10, the material of the formwork should not warp or get distorted when exposed to the elements. So the next topic, different types of formwork based on material. One, timber formwork. So timber formwork is one of the mostly used type of in the construction industry and it is fabricated on the side by using timber. It is very easy to produce but time consuming for larger structures. So curved shapes cannot be provided economically. So timber shuttering should satisfy the following four requirements. Lightweight, well seasoned, free from termite attacks and easily workable. Here you can see the photo of picture of timber form work. Completely made of timber. Two, plywood form work in combination with timber. Plywood is an artificially manufactured wooden material available in different thickness and size and it is used in formwork for concrete member. It is a strong enough, durable and lightweight. The main advantage of this form from timber form is that we get smooth cement surface with this form. 3. Steel formwork. 
Steel form work is now becoming popular due to its long lifetime and multiple time reuses. Steel form work is costly but can be used for a large number of projects. Steel shuttering gives very smooth finishes to concrete surface and is suitable for circular or curved structures such as tanks, columns, chimneys, tunnels and retaining walls. Four, aluminum formwork. Aluminum formwork is almost similar to those made of steel. Aluminum forms are lighter than steel forms due to its low density and this is their primary advantage when compared to steel. So the shuttering is economical if large numbers of repeating usage are made in construction. The disadvantage is that no alteration is possible after the formwork or once the formwork is constructed. You can see the picture here of aluminum formwork. Number five, plastic formwork. Plastic formwork is lightweight, possesses interlocking mechanism and could be used for multiple times. Plastic shuttering is mostly useful where similar construction shape structures are required. Six, copper formwork. Copper is a structural stay in place shuttering used in concrete construction. So copper is made of two filtering grids in which vertical stiffeners are reinforced. After the placement of coffer formwork, concrete is poured between the grids and excess water is drained through grids due to gravity. Next, fabric formwork, the last one. Fabric formwork is used for construction of complex and irregular shaped member. Usage of fabric formwork provides an opportunity for construction of efficient and architecturally marvelous structural members of any shape and sizes. So that's all for this lecture. We'll see a few videos related to the topic and also you can give your uh, attendance in the chat box with a name and enrollment ID. Thank you. This video explains what is formwork and good requirements of formwork. Formwork or shuttering is a temporary additional structure or a mold construction done to keep the concrete or related materials in position until it sets. Common types of forms are usually made up of timber, plywood, steel, or combination of these. Timber is the most familiar material among these as it is economical. But, main disadvantages of using timber generally undergo warping, swelling, and shrinkage. However, those defects can be reduced by applying water impermeable coating. Nowadays, steel formworks are frequently adopted as it is easier to remove and can be reused many times. These steel formworks are comparatively costlier than other types. A good formwork should comply with the following requirements. The material of the formwork should be cheap and it should be sufficient for reuse several times. The shrinkage and swelling of formwork due to water should be minimum. It should be strong enough to withstand all loads coming on it, such as a dead load of concrete and live load during its pouring, compaction and curing. It should be strong enough so that deflection is minimum or low. It should be as light as possible. The surface of the formwork should be smooth, and it should provide easy stripping. All joints of the formwork should be strong, so that lateral deformation under loads is minimum. These joints should be leak-proof. These are the requirements of good formwork. Comment your views below. Press like button and share the video. Finally, don't forget to subscribe. mold, including all support structures, used to shape and size the concrete until it attains sufficient strength to carry its own weight. 
it should be capable of carrying all imposed dead and live loads apart from its own weight coming to formwork types timber formwork the timber formwork is one of the mostly used in construction industry fabricated on site using timber timber is easy to fix remove and lightweight timber used for structuring for exposed concrete work should have smooth and even surface on all faces which come in contact with concrete people new to building from works typically choose timber because it requires no special tools nor a high level of construction experience it is also easier to handle due to its lightweight plywood from works number of reuses are more as as compared with timber shuttering number of reuses can be taken as 20 to 25 plywood is an artificially manufactured wooden material available in different thickness and size used in form work for concrete member next one is steel form work steel forms are largely used in large projects or in situation where large number of reuses or the shuttering is considered most suitable form suitable for circular or curved structures steel form work is now becoming popular due to its long life time and multiple time reuses steel shattering gives very smooth finishes to concrete surface and steel shattering is strong durable and has longer life steel form work does not absorb moisture from concrete steel form work do not shrink or wrap the panels can be fabricated in large number in any desired modular shape or size and aluminum form work that is also called as my one aluminum forms are lighter than steel forms due to low density and this is their primary advantage when compared to steel my one is basically an aluminum form work system developed by one of the construction company from europe my one technology is suitable for constructing large number of houses within short time using room size forms to construct walls and slabs in one continuous pour on concrete and the last one is plastic form work these interlocking and modular systems are used to build widely variable but relatively simple concrete structures the panels are lightweight and very robust this type of shuttering is becoming popular for similar shape on large house scheme they have impervious surface that usually create a smooth finish to the concrete reinforced plastics are produced in steel form with smooth or textured surfaces thank you for watching this video Welcome to Civil Mentor. Mortar and ground are both used in the field of construction, which are cement-based products. Despite both being cement-based products, they have different properties, different uses, and serve different purposes. The major difference found in the mortar and ground is its fluidity property. In this video, we have shed light on the major differences. between mortar and ground
So, let's get started. What is mortar? Mortar is a mixture of cement, sand, and water, made into a thick paste, that is used, to bind two surfaces, with each other. It is majorly, used in the building projects, as a binding material, between stones, concrete, and bricks. What is grout? Grout, is a high viscous material, which is used, as, a filler, to fill spaces, or the joints, between ceramic, or stone tiles. Grout is a binder, but, it is certainly, not an adhesive, and the tiles, stay in place, because of the mortar, below them, and not, because of the grout. The differences, between mortar, and grout, are mentioned below, in detail. 1. Material Mortar is a mixture, of cement, sand, lime, and water. And grout is a mixture, of cement, water, and sand, epoxy, acrylic, and polymer. 2. Water cement, ratio. Water cement, ratio in mortar, is mostly, less. And, in ground, it is mostly, more. 3. Primary function. The primary function, of the cement mortar, is to act, as, a binder in brick, or stone masonry. The primary function, of the ground, is to act, as, a filler material, in tilling work, and cracks. 4. Stiffness. Mortar is mostly stiffer. And, on the other hand, the grout is less stiff. 5. Workability. Mortar sticks well on a trowel, and the workability is more. Whereas, grout is difficult to handle it with trowel or other tools. 6. Viscosity. Mortar is low material. Whereas, ground is a, highly viscous. 7. Color. Mortar, usually takes, the color of cement. Whereas, the grout comes, in various colors, as per, the requirement. 8. Porosity. Mortar is, a non-porous, substance. And, on the other hand, the grout is quite porous, they holds waters, even, after hardening. 9. Curing. Mortar, needs curing, for hardening, process. Whereas, the grout, does not need, extra water for curing, the initial quantity, provided, is enough for hardening. 10. Setting time. Mortar, setting time, is more, when compared, to ground. On the other hand, the setting time, is less, when compared, to mortar. That's all for today. See you in the next video. Thanks, for watching this.